Okay, so this is a little video to share some of the um, sauces and condiments that I have in my kitchen. Just a, a little bit, a few. Uh, so let's begin. This is the soy sauce that I use. Why? Because actually uh, this is my dad's uh, favorite soy sauce that he's been using ever since I remember him cooking. So. I've basically just followed him and this is the soy sauce that I use. I think you'll see in my uh, cooking videos that uh, this sauce appear quite a bit. Pearl River Bridge. Beautiful soy sauce. Uh, just the right amount of saltiness. You know, some soy sauce can be like really salty. This one is just right. Uh, let's stick with the sauces, uh, you know, fish sauce. This is very sort of readily available, the Thai one, uh, knife brand. I use fish sauce a lot. Um, sometimes I use the uh, Vietnamese uh, fish sauce as well, but I, I kind of think maybe the Thai one is a bit more salty and uh, more readily available. So get yourself some fish sauce. Knife brand. This is uh, great to have in your kitchen. Uh, cooking wine, Hua Tiu Zhou, or they call it Shaoxing wine. Uh, great to sort of marinate, uh, marinate uh, meats, uh, add, uh, add a bit of sweetness. Uh, good for making um, Drunken prawns as well, which I make quite a lot. Very simple, very easy. But uh, this is something that I use quite a bit to marinate uh, uh, meats for Cantonese dishes, uh, a lot of steamed dishes. Uh, great, all you need is uh, maybe you know two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Uh, mix it with uh, oyster sauce, soy sauce, and you get good tasting meat. started to use mirin quite a bit um, this one hon mirin it's almost like you know shaoxing wine kwa uh, but japanese obviously uh, sweetens up uh, your dishes your soup bases uh, nice this is something that i've been using quite a bit as well uh, especially when i make um, a simple soup, small soup for the family or my mum, you know, I just put a few into the broth just to add a slight sort of sweet, sweet uh, sweetness to it. Good. <coughs> Maggie sauce is uh, great as well. I love this especially when I make uh, or when I eat banh mi, banh mi pate, which I make uh, every, now, every now and then. Um, it's a fantastic sauce. You can uh, throw into your stir fries as well. Uh, very easily found at the supermarkets. I think uh, everyone should have one of these as well. Uh, what else do I have here? Um, okay, let's start with the chilies. This. I'm sharing this because uh, I saw this at the shelves and um, this chili sauce was actually one of my father's favorites. Ever since I was a child, he had a bottle stacked away somewhere and then when he wanted to eat uh, good chili, this was what he sort of uh, brought out and ate. Uh, I think it's Hong Kong, it's Hong Kong made, it's a Hong Kong chili sauce. So I got this for sentimental value. I mean, decent chili, but you know, I've got better ones now. Um, Fu Yi, fermented bean curd. Every Cantonese household probably has one. Uh, good to stir fry vegetables to give it that that slight sort of smoky, uh, fermented sort of taste, bean curd taste. Uh, this is great as well if uh, you're lazy 
just cook some rice, throw some scraps together, and then you know use this as like a, uh, like how you would put chili on your dishes. So this is great. Uh, my wife actually loves eating this uh, with uh, with her congee, like one cube, you know. Fantastic, but that's only if you like. Uh, fermented uh, bean curd taste but it's great um, I've got some this sambal almost uh, finishing this is actually from a friend of mine uh, Anwar who does uh, his, his sort of uh, little cooking gig as well uh, uh, it's called Agenda um, this is a very good uh, sambal uh, he makes and sells this as well just like how i make and sell my chili um, one of the better tasting sambal i've i've had uh, you can check it out uh, legenda sg on on uh, facebook and uh, instagram as well sambal nice great for um, sambal kangkong or you know throw in some of your dishes flavor chili local chili Southeast Asian chili, Singapore chili, nice. Um, chili oil, great to have also uh, for cooking or you know mix it with a bit of uh, soy sauce as dips for dumplings uh, or whatever you might be having. Essential oil. The other oil that it's uh, really great, uh, especially if you're um, missing that mala, citron pepper sort of uh, taste and you can't go to the restaurants or whatever and you just want a bit, a, tint, a hint of it in your dishes, you can use this. This is really good. Citron pepper oil. Um, actually, one of the... Uh, market stalls at uh, Tiong Bahru uh, market sold this and he recommended this to me. I, I tried it and I love it. I've got, you know, two bottles at home. Um, very nice, uh, very aromatic, especially if you um, like mala, citron pepper, you should get this. Um, of course, Sriracha, nice, tangy, flavorful chili. You've all seen the uh, documentary that's uh, been going around on the founder. Uh, this is nice chili, easy. Not, nothing much else to say about this. Um, now what I have here are some Fijian uh, pickled chili. Uh, given to me by a friend, uh, Dominic, who's also a uh, fellow Fijian who's based in uh, Myanmar, Yangon. But he came to my book launch uh, last year and he, he gave me this. It's a chili pickle and it reminds me very much of um, some of the pickle that I had um, in um, uh, Nepal. Muna's, um, the, the pickles that Muna and her mother um, makes. I can't remember what it's called now, but very delicious, very hot. It's made from um, Fijian bongo chili. Nice kick to it. This is another one as well. Another Fijian sort of chili pickle. Mm. Fantastic. I have a big jar of this. This is basically um, dried uh, Thai bird's eye chili that I buy from the markets. Uh, whole, whole dried chili, and then I take bring it back, and then I grind it to powder. Um, so 
much better, much more kick than the uh, chili powders um, you would buy at the uh, supermarket. Uh, very hot, uh, great, uh, great to you know sprinkle a bit on uh, your dishes uh, during cooking or after as well. I, I like putting a bit of this on uh, my congee, uh, just like how they do the uh, congee in uh, Bangkok uh, with the pork balls, uh, raw egg and uh, a nice sort of uh, sprinkling of this uh, Thai, um, Thai bird's eye chili, dried. Uh, it's not uh, ground that finely. Can you see that? Yeah. You can also get uh, Indian, I think, Kashmiri chili. They, they sell that in Little India as well. Uh, it's, it's got kick as well, but I, I actually like the, the Thai one because uh, to me it's, it's actually a bit more... Uh, it's hotter, um, so I love my chili. This will last me, I don't know, two months. We eat chili quite a lot. Of course, with uh, this pun chili, the chili that I make, we eat this a lot. I sell this as well. Um, if you're uh, stuck at home and you want to whip up a quick sort of a mala dish uh, and you don't have uh, all the ingredients, uh, especially the tao uh, panjang or the um, uh, fresh sort of uh, citron pepper, just use this to my chili or any other chili. But mine, of course, is better. <laughs> and uh, this, Sichuan pepper oil. And you got yourself a nice, quick tasting mala ish dish, stir fries. A bit of meat, a bit of veggie, boom, good to go. Magic combo. I've got, I make a uh, tamarind as well. Um, this is great. Uh, I, I first started making this um, to go with uh, curries and spicy dishes. It's a bit on the sweet and sour side, so it adds a bit of nuance to the spice that uh, is in the dish. Uh, but this is a great snack, and uh, so far people that have tried it love it as well. Um, it's very versatile if you're just kind of uh, um, waiting for dinner. This is a good appetizer, you know, just a spoonful. Uh, I had this with uh, ice cream the other day, uh, very nice, actually it went well. Um, what I'm going to plan to do one day is a uh, homemade coconut ice cream with uh, this uh, on top and I think it'll go well. So hopefully once this uh, bloody crisis is over and circuit breaker is no more, um, I'll, I'll make more of these uh, to sell right now, you know, I don't have that much uh, left. But yeah, you know, hit me up next time for some tamarind. This is um, reminiscent of uh, what I have, what I had when I was growing up in Fiji. <coughs> Last but not least, um, the much hated, uh, misunderstood uh, MSG. Um, I actually have MSG in my kitchen that I use sometimes. Uh, this is a great hack. It's not harmful, it adds flavor instantaneously. Uh, when you're lazy, uh, you just wanna wick something up quickly, you know, just take a teaspoon of this, put it in, boom, you're done. Um, I think any, any, everyone in Asia that has uh, eaten out at the hawker centers uh, in Singapore, you know, this is in, this is in, um, this is in the food you eat. Uh, even Doritos has sort of MSG, and this is the brand that I use, not uh, not the Japanese one. Um, so, yes, I do had, I do eat uh, MSG, and I use it sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. So, thanks again for watching. I'm just gonna line it all up here. Hope this little uh, video 
helps